As Airbus's fleet of five Beluga aircraft began to lose their efficiency and effectiveness, especially once this happened, they needed to find a replacement ASAP. The Airbus Beluga XL is the latest incarnation of super transporters to be used by Airbus. Following in the footsteps of its predecessors, the Super Guppy and Beluga, the Beluga XL is a modified version of a pre-existing aircraft type that is used to primarily transport large components of sections of aircraft to Airbus's final assembly plant located in Toulouse, France. While the original five Belugas were having difficulty in keeping pace with the growth in production Airbus was experiencing around 2012, 2013, and 2014, the need to find an alternative to them wasn't for these reasons, but rather, once Airbus began production of their newest line of aircraft, the A350, Airbus soon found out the Beluga takes up to nine times as long to move A350 components versus the time it would take for those of an A320. The Beluga XL fuselage is that of an Airbus A330. There are several similarities between the Beluga and the new Beluga XL. Perhaps the two most notable are that the flight decks have been lowered from their original locations in order to better accommodate the loading and unloading of cargo, among other reasons. And the horizontal stabilizer is fitted with auxiliary fins in order to retain directional stability while in flight. The Beluga XL differs in that it uses the A330-200 fuselage as opposed to the A300-600, giving it a slightly longer and wider fuselage. This allows the XL to have a 30% greater capacity, a payload limit of 6 tons more, and an ability to fly non-stop even further than the Beluga. Among many other things, this means that the XL can transport two A350 wings, whereas the original Beluga can only transport one. And you might have noticed a minute or two ago, we said the Beluga XL is based on the A330 fuselage. You may have noticed we didn't denote if it's an A330-200 or an A330-300 fuselage, making this perhaps the most interesting thing about the new Beluga XL. The aft section of the aircraft is actually based on the A330-300, while the forward section of the aircraft is based on the A330-200, and this is due to center of gravity considerations. Another interesting bit of information is that in order to seek savings in the investment Airbus is making in building the XLs, they've decided not to equip these aircraft with ETOPS capabilities meaning the use of the XLs across the Atlantic or any other major body of water will be severely restricted. However, as Beluga XL program chief Bertrand George points out, it's unlikely they'll be used outside of its European network. At present, Airbus is planning on building a total of six XLs and retiring the original Belugas progressively through the year 2025. 